Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, I'm a Beast, dude. Number nine in the world, as you can see. Um, just wanted to let you guys know I get a lot of messages, emails asking, you know, what perks and guns and, you know, my classes are and stuff like that. So, uh, let's go over them. Uh, first class is uh, MP5, Red Dot Sight. MP5 is a very good gun. Uh, red Dot Sight or no attachment all the way. Uh, I use the M9 on, on it only because you get 30 more bullets if you're having to uh, kill a lot of people like I usually have to do. <laughs> but, uh... Frag times three for pubs, pretty good with grenades, so I use them a lot. Um, always use stopping power unless there's a lot of snipers or a lot of frags, but stopping power is very good, of course. And uh, dead silence, all my all my routes are around dead silence. I've made it that way for a long time now, and it works. Uh, next class, same perks on everything except the USP 45 and the M16 red dot sight. Um, that's pretty much it for that. And uh, same thing on here, exactly same class, except uh, it's a MP5 red dot M9 with Claymore time to sue. Uh, and then this is my training class, which right now I'm trying to train with the uh, AK-47, no attachment. Claymore, stun power, dead silence, it doesn't really need deep impact, you can shoot through almost anything. Um, last class is a uh, M16 silencer. If anybody knows anything about the M16, you know the, uh, the silencer's uh, a little bit better than the red dot. If you didn't know that, then there you go. Um... I want to go over some guns now. Um, uh, good guns for assault rifles are M16, of course, AK-47s, M4s, and uh, the G3. G3 is better than M16, believe it or not, but only really if you have a mod because it's single shot. All these other guns, waste of time. Uh, some machine guns, MP5, just explained to you how good that is. Scorpion's very good uh, if you're playing hardcore, and it's actually pretty good if you're playing normal. Mini Uzi, don't bother with it. AK-74 used very good uh, with the silencer with Juggernaut. No stopping power because it's pointless. It doesn't have any effect. And uh, just watch out for the recoil and it's a good gun. Uh, next one, P90. It's a good gun with a silencer, but honestly, who wants to shoot 14 bullets at one person? That's just me. Uh, light machine guns, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'd only shoot the saw and the M60 on a three-shot burst. RPD, you can let it go with a grip or a red dot. It's very good, but kind of noobish. Um, shotgun, self-explanatory, completely close range weapons, only stopping power, slide of hand, and for the middle perks. Uh, sniper rifles, M40A3, for, um, it's pretty good, can't always shoot a juggernaut. M21, if you ever use it, I'd put juggy on it, just because it's, it's just, you could shoot many bullets, it's good like that. Dragon off, always juggernaut, never even used it without juggernaut. It can one-shot a juggernaut with juggernaut, so, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory how powerful it is. R700, uh, not that good, not that good at all, can't really say much, it can one shot a juggernaut, but it can't really shoot anything else. Um, Barrett 50 cal, it's a very good gun, but sometimes it misses. Uh, but, uh, Wick Split F and AFA is the best sniper I've seen with it, and he can do work, so that's him. Um, want to go over some perks really quick, um, C4 times 2, use self-explanatory, special grenades times 3, only really use this if, uh, I want to be a noob or I do some uh, uh, game battles, but uh, RPGs are good if you know how to use them, but I suggest Claymores or uh, Frag Times 3 if you can use your frags good and you don't throw Randys. Bandoliers pointless if you're not playing, if you're only if you're playing Team Deathmatch. Bomb Squad's pointless. All you gotta do is see the C4 or hear the Claymore, that's all you gotta do. Um, perks, uh, two perks, um, stopping power all the way on all my classes. I only use Juggernaut if I have to for snipers and a lot of frags. Um, slide of hand, hardcore, double tap, hardcore, overkill, pretty much hardcore. The only overkill class I've ever seen that worked was um, shotgun with uh, Barrett 50 cal. UAV jammer, self-explanatory, and sonic boom, self-explanatory. Uh, third perk, extreme conditioning is the only perk I'd ever use except dead silence. Steady aim, wouldn't use it because after a while you'll, you'll, you will become too dependent on it and you will stop aiming. Last stand, garbage, martyrdom garbage. Deep impact's good, but after a while you'll know what you can shoot and what you can't shoot through, and you'll just get another shot. Iron lungs, garbage unless you're starting this night. Dead silence all the way, and uh, eavesdrop, pointless. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Just trying to do a quick run through of these. If you need any more help, um, just let me know. And uh, you can reach me through my YouTube, which is uh, FNG Faja. Or um, you can reach me through FNG Faj or you can reach me through um, here. Either way, I'll get them and I'll do my best to uh, reply to them. Just remember, I actually do kind of have a life, school, and uh, all that good stuff. But uh, just, you know, give me time. I, I try my best to uh, reply to everybody's messages. Just sometimes I don't. If I don't, in a few days, send me another one and I'll try to take care of it. Um, another thing I'd like to point out is um, 
just if you ever want to play with me I'm not an asshole so uh, you know just leave me a message saying I want to play uh, subscribe to our videos me and Faja my dad actually makes all my videos and edits them and he's pretty damn good at it uh, so uh, he's actually helping me right now do this but uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, hopefully we'll come out with some more and uh, subscribe and uh, send a friend uh, friend request on there and uh, you know just keep watching see you soon later